Paperboy News here to deliver y'all that daily report. Now T. Rell and Smack was on back on fig, and they reacted to Blockstar's interview at No Jumper. Now I don't know if it was T. Rell or Smack, but one of them said that maybe the reason why Blockstar shot was because he was shocked that Pop Smokes actually ran towards him even though he seen that burner and he got scared so he shot and as we all know Blockstar responded back to it which I said in my video he said how in the hell could he be shocked or scared when he was the one holding the burner now Blockstar did admit that when he did that no jumper interview it did sound all bad but he said the reason why he acted like that was because he was off of them drugs and he said as far as those Hoover podcasters that was reacting to to his no jumper interview which he was referring to t rail and smack he said he don't really f with them and the only reason he heard about them is because there were some famous hoovers off of social media then he says he doesn't care about those two because they ain't put in no work in the streets and even though he's younger than them they ain't did what he did and he said as far as whoever said it whether it was t rail or smack saying that when pop smokes fought back they were scared and that's why they shot and he said if you had a burner in your hand would you be scared and he said being from hoover he's used to seeing death and he's seen a lot of people that he loved even close homies and family die right in front of him so when pop smokes died that's just a regular day in the hood and since nobody felt bad for his loved ones getting murked he doesn't either now blockstar told this homie that the judge told him that the reason why he doesn't want to release him is because this is such a high profile case then when people with social media platforms see him free they're gonna want to interview him and by him getting all of this clout his life could be in danger and he said the best option for him is to create a little fan base off of social media to show the judge that even though some people don't like him because of that situation there's still a lot of people that support him as well now when Smack went live on Instagram, somebody wrote to him and said the little homie got at y'all, which it was referring to Blockstar. Smack replied back by saying he didn't get at me, then he followed up with saying that's something that I don't care about. And he had to remind Blockstar that before all of this fame on social media with back on Fig and T-Rell and them, he was really one of them ones from Trouble Gangsta Crips in the streets. And he said even though he's way older than Blockstar, he still be out there in the trenches and still be posting up in the field and he wanted to remind blockstar that he ain't got nothing against him and he said to be honest he doesn't give a f about what's going on right now in his life and he said everybody's entitled to their own opinion and he said at the end of the day him and t rails no longer in the streets and they're youtubers now so whenever somebody whether it's from a section or not puts their life or information out on social media them being content creators have the right to speak on it or react to it because it's public information and he said with that being said he doesn't care how blockstar and anybody feels because he's gonna cover it because if you don't want me speaking on it don't be putting all of your information out there all over youtube and he said blockstar sounds ignorant putting all of his information out there on interviews and on social media platforms but then gets offended when people from his own section react to it and he said from the four trays to the runways he's a big dog and he said still living in the trenches he didn't make it to damn near his 40s for no reason and he said for all of those trouble gangsta crips as well as the hoovers that knew him before social media they know that he been doing this ish in the streets and he been a big dog and now that he's on social media trying to make money the legit way can't nobody take what he did in the streets away from him now even though blockstar tried to get personal with it with t-rail and smack i believe smack was trying to be respectful to the young homie because at the end of the day he know that he's been through a lot being that he grew up in the same section that he from so now that you guys heard both sides y'all like share and subscribe to the channel y'all let me know what y'all think down in that comment section it's paper boy newsstand y'all be safe and stay dangerous out there Gow.